Let's see. Let's see if anybody comes to the stream. Let's see. Hold on. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. I'm going to stream this first one. I'm probably not going to stream them. Hey, HFD, it's not. Bot. Hi, my dude. What's up, guys? So, all right. So, I destroyed my old map. Okay, so originally, I was going to make a video. Right? I was going to make a video. Yeah, I did already. I destroyed my old one. Uh, so, I was going to make a video on it, but the footage didn't come out good at all. Right? So, I'm kind of bummed. But so now you guys got guys get to interact with me while I build the map and teach you how to build a map. Do you guys want to learn how to build a map? Do you guys want to learn? So I want to kind of teach you guys how to build a map. I'm not going to make this too long, but I, I want to show you guys um, what to do. So original. So what you want to do when you build any map, guys, when you build anything, you kind of you got to want to have a you have to have a vision of what you're gonna do okay you have to have a you have to see it in your mind uh before you i mean if you're good at freestyling like if you're good at just off the top of your head making stuff in a map go with it man do it like roll with it man like if you're good at doing that do it but if you're not the best at just freestyling stuff um you're definitely gonna want to frame out your map so what i did here was i framed out the squares okay and then, uh, in this case, what we're going to build is we're going to build a team death race. We're going to build a team death race, okay? Go back to bed. Uh, no. So, I'm going to build a team death race. I had a team death race too, but I destroyed it, and I kind of want to uh, build it differently this time. I kind of want to just do two teams, and this way, if there's only like four people in your map, uh, you can make it to where it's evenly matched and there's only you know what I mean? I, I feel like if we do too many teams um, Not a lot of people have a bunch of people to play with in creative like some people only have them and their friends like four other friends So I don't want to split everybody up and have everybody on a bunch of different separate teams. So I'm just gonna do two teams Okay, so I did the settings already so what I did was I built the two bases okay uh you have to make them somewhat like decently like kind of big but not really just big enough to fit eight spawners so if you want to do this you're going to want to make sure you do, i did team two and visible during games i put that off and i did that for all of them okay and then at least this way you have room for spawners like in this case i'm probably going to do impulse grenades and maybe a gun or two because uh, i'm probably going to put a zombie right here to start out with because uh, I feel like that's a good starting point. So you kill the zombie with your team. And then uh, for the um, for these things over here. Now these are player inventory when game starts up. So what you're going to want to do for this is... I actually did this one already. So in this case, uh, team one is going to be chicken champions. Okay? Team one is going to be chicken champions. Uh, I'm going to color them red. Because obviously that's the color they are. Uh, grant on uh, respawn. Now the in the settings and inventory for this stuff. Now you can override the main settings, okay? If you want, like for example, let's say I only want the red team to have um, 50 health. Only the red. Let's say I had three teams, right? And I only want the red team to have 50 health. But I want all the other teams to have 100. So I can just go to 50 health here, or no, that's shields. I can go to, hold on. I can go starting or starting health. I'll do that at 50 and then I will do, we'll do a hundred percent health, but we'll only start them at 50. Sorry. My dogs went crazy. I don't know why they went crazy. So this is cool. Cause you can override stuff. So this is really neat. Uh, so in this case, I have uh, keep items when eliminated. I have a delete. I'll get I'll get more into this later. What's override? Okay, so what override is is when you go into your settings, your main settings here. If you go to my island, right, and this this is your main settings. Okay, 
So in this case, um, starting health, I want everybody to have a hundred health except for the red team. So we're going to do starting health a hundred percent and then max health a hundred health. So everybody's going to start with a hundred health. Okay. So this would be the main settings here. So when it, when it means override, so what you'll do, you'll go back to the red team and anything that you change on here is going to override the main settings. Okay. So I only want the red team to have 50 health. We'll, we'll make it a hundred percent, but we'll only allow them to get up to 50 health. Now, what this does is it allows the red team to not have anything higher than 50 health and everybody else can have their hundred. Does that make sense? Edits. Does that make sense, my dude? I think you're still here. Yes, it does. Okay. So we're not going to do that, though. We're, we're going to leave it the way it is because I want everybody to have the main health. So um, when you're building a map, in my opinion, what, what I would say you do is you want to frame out the you want to frame it out so the reason that i didn't put them right next to each other and i'm going to put a barrier here probably uh so they can't get in between but the main reason that you don't want to uh build them right next to each other so for example if i if i do this like if i were to put them next to each other they'd have to share the middle wall and i don't want them to share the middle wall i want their whole base to be red do you know what i mean and their whole base to be blue I don't want it to be I don't want them to be one wall apart. I'd rather you see the whole base. It just looks nicer when you're taking pictures and you're trying to show other people to play your map. It just it just looks better. Do you know what I mean? It just looks nicer this way. So, and you don't have to go with the black ground. You could go with anything. It's just this is such a neutral color that like it looks decent. Do you know what I mean? So, Okay, so for example, so now now that we have the spawns all set, like this is team two. Okay, this is team two here, and then you got team one over here. So now we have the spawns all set. Everything's good. I can actually go on with the map. Everything's good. The only thing that I did not work on was the blue settings. So we could do the blue settings right now. Let's, let's see what the blue team is, and then I'll show you how to do the blue settings. So it's called Whip It Warriors, and they are blue. Okay, so you come over here. You're going to want to go to the inventory. All right, their name is Whip It Warriors. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up here, team name. Whip. Did I spell it right? I don't know. You got Whip It Warriors. There we go. And... There, so now every time the match is over, it's going to show this this name. Also, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make the team color. I think sky blue is the only thing we got. Aqua. Let's do sky blue. There's a lot of colors. Okay, so we got sky blue. Uh, we're going to leave their starting health normal. Uh, we're just going to leave it because I want them both to have the same health. Shields will stay the same. I'm going to actually change this. Infinite ammo. I'm going to change that off. I'm going to do that also on the other one. Just to make sure that they don't have infinite. It's kind of like a fail safe. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to do uh, infinite resources. Turn that off. Uh, keep, keep items when eliminated for the blue team. We're going to turn that to delete. This way, the reason I'm going to put it on delete um, is so that let's say they somehow miraculously get over to the red team side or just something happens where they get where they shouldn't be uh, like or if they try to skip a checkpoint and try to bring guns over to an area where I don't want the guns to be if they die I want those guns to be gone I don't want anybody to be able to pick those guns up so I'm gonna put it on delete after they die uh, fall damage uh, we're gonna do no but I'm just gonna leave that to the normal settings um, gravity, leave that to the normal settings. Uh, jump fatigue, I'll, I'll leave that for main settings. Player flight, fly. all this stuff I'm just going to leave for the main settings. Um, now, this is the big one. Max initial team size. Since there's only eight spawns on the blue team, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to eight. 
So this way, no more than eight people can actually join the blue team, okay? Now, if we had multiple teams, like if I had like five, because I think on my first death race, I have five teams. So um, what you want to do if you have that many teams uh, and you have a good amount of people in there, what you're going to want to do is your initial team size, for example, uh, will be, I would put it to number two. This way, so let's say you have eight people on a map with five teams it'll split them up evenly with two people on each team it won't like do three you know and then five you know what i mean it'll split everybody up evenly with two people on their team does that make sense does that make sense okay so we're gonna leave that to zero though because there's only two teams anyway so we're just gonna leave that to zero um uh, allow item drop this is another big one too this is a huge one okay if you're making a map where you don't want people to give other people guns or you don't want them to get guns into an area they're not supposed to turn this off no item drop do not let them I, i'm telling you turn this off this is super important okay and if you have stuff that you want them to pick up make sure that's on yes and we could change it and you could change this also on the main settings too so you don't have to just do it in here but i do it double sometimes because i want to make sure it works uh, and then so this is good so for the blue team settings this is perfect nothing else needs to be really be changed on here so we're just going to leave it like that right now what we could do now here is we can start building the map okay so I kind of want to make it come out a little bit. We'll go out four blocks. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go out four blocks here. Now this map is not going to be the same as my first one, but it's going to be close. I mean, it's not going to be the same, same. I mean, it, it kind of looks like the same now, but it's not going to be that. My dog will bark. I'm sorry, my dog just does not stop. I had to go put him in the room. All right. So, he just keeps barking and barking and barking. I'm so sorry. All right. So, I'm going to put, so for this area, I'm going to put like a zombie spawner. It's just a nice way to like start off the map. Like, in my opinion, it's just, I, I don't know. I like having to like start off with killing a zombie. It kind of like, it's kind of like a rush. You know what I mean? So what we'll do is we will get the zombie spawner out. Here we go. Zombie spawner. And then I'm going to put it right here. I'm only going to put it right here for right now because I'm going to want to change the settings on it. So um, let's do let's do one zombie just for now. Just because it's the beginning, we don't need it to be super difficult. We'll just do one zombie. All right, and total uh, creatures, we'll just do one. Activation range, seven tiles. We'll do five tiles, maybe five. Five seems good. Invincible spawner, we'll just leave that off. We'll turn the spawner off, too, so you can't see it in-game. We'll turn that off. Um, damage, spawn, damage spawner after spawn. I guess we'll leave that on. Destroy player structures on spawn, we'll turn that off. Um, we'll leave it visible max spawn distance. We'll do one tile because we don't want we don't want the the zombie to go off into like The blue team zone or whatever, you know, what I mean, so we'll do one tile uh, Spawn through walls definitely turn that off at max distance. I guess we have to leave that on enable it on game start and These are for the triggers. So we're gonna leave them alone And we will make it a mega brew There we go. Okay Oh, 
Oh, we could go half, I think. I think we could go half max taunt. Yes, we can. All right, we're going half. All right, so we are going to put this guy back over here. All right, so for the beginning of this map, we are going to have you kill a zombie. There you go. Now, I'll decorate this map more. Like, it's not going to look like this. It's not going to stay like this, but I'm definitely going to... Alright, so there. We got that. Now, if you want to change what the zombie can do, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spawn the zombie... Um, where is this thing at? It's in the devices, I do believe. So you want to go to devices, and then you're going to want to go to the zo uh, creature manager. You need that. All right, so we're going to tap that. And we're going to want to go to him. And since, because we're using the Mega Brute, we want it on Mega Brute. And I'm sure you could probably spawn a bunch of these, but we only have one zombie at the moment. So we're going to give his health 5,000. Um, damage to player... We'll just do default damage to environment, none. There we go. So now this zombie has 5,000 health. That's pretty intense, man. Pretty, pretty intense. All right. Also, what I want to do is I want to add... Where are the things at? I think they're objectives. So let's find objective. There we go. We got objectives. We're going to spawn those. We're going to get, let's get these guys. And we're going to widen it. And then we're going to make it skinnier there. All right, so there we go. So now, in order to get out of this area, you're going to have to break the objective. Now, that's not going to be the main goal of this map, but... This way you can't just rush the zombie. Do you know what I mean? And we're going to do the same to the other one. So we're going to take this, copy it, put it right over here. Okay. We got that. Now what we're going to want to do is let's give it, say, let's give it 7,500 health. We'll make this one team one. Visible during games on. Destroy when receiving. Yes. So we're good. We're good so far. We'll make this one team. Two. All right. So we're good so far. So this is going to be our first little area for this for this race right here. Okay. This is our first. David, what's up, buddy? This is going to be our first little area. It doesn't look like much right now, guys. But I promise you. When this is done, um, it's going to look nice, and it's going to be really fun to play. It's going to be extremely fun to play. So, um, now, I don't really, I know what I want to do with my map, but I have to think. I don't have it all planned out in my head right now. So, um, what I'm going to do for now, I think I'm just going to close this off, and I'm probably going to end this. I know it's going to be a short stream, but I only wanted to make this a video, so hopefully... Hopefully, uh, I'm probably just going to end this stream soon, and then I'm going to maybe start up something else. I'm not sure. So, for this area, we'll make them have to get out of this area here. Let's let's uh, let's be a troll. Not really necessarily a troll. Let's just make two doors. We'll just make two doors to get out of this area. And to make it hard enough, let's add another one of these. So, this way, they can't just pass the zombie. They have to kill him. You know what I mean? Yeah, this way they have to kill the zombie. I mean, they don't have to. I mean, if they want to just break the barrier, they can. I've seen people do that on my other maps. So, we'll do that. We'll do the same thing. You kind of want it to be the same. You don't want to give anybody the advantage at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want it to be equal for both teams. So, I'm going to do the same thing over here.
There we go. We have the same one. All right, so this will be... Oh, and also for this, because we're going to want them to fight the zombie, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a... Where is it at? Player checkpoint. Item spawner. We'll do an item spawner. We'll put one, two, three, four. We'll do four. And then they'll, the other people will just have to wait. Uh, Shaverman, too many barriers, bro. Haha. Ha. What do you mean, barriers? Uh, no, nah, I don't think there's too many barriers, man. I don't think there's too many barriers. I think it'll be fine. Uh, we'll go weapons. We'll give them... I don't want them... Because the zombie doesn't have a bunch of health. And to be honest with you, there's only one zombie. So let's just... I'm just honestly going to give them like... I mean, I don't want to give them some crazy, amazing weapon. I want it to be, like, somewhat challenging. So, I guess we'll just rock these. Hopefully, one only went in there. Let me um get rid of this. Alright, I got rid of that. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, ball creature spawner. Goodbye. Alright, so... Now, let me put... We'll do another... Do another one. We'll put another one there. Put another one there. All right. So now they have their guns. They have their guns. So let's give them some ammo. I don't want to give them a bunch of ammo again. Like, dude, I just, I don't want to make it extremely easy. Like, I want it to be challenging. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's super easy, then that, to me, that's not fun. Like, I like a challenge, man. Like, like, I don't like just stuff handed to me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't want to make it easy. So, what we're going to do for this, I, I want to give them, let me see. We got 100 bullets. We'll give them, we'll give them 50. Okay, so we got that. Yes, thank you, David. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now the beginning spawn is done. It is done. Uh, since I'm going to test this out and show you what it's like, I'm going to turn this to 1,000. Because I'm going to test this out, and I'll show you. Uh, we got to do the same, though, to this. So let's add... Let's add some more item spawners. We got 16. Bow, bow, bow. All right. It honestly, it's this is time consuming. So, even though it's time consuming, in order to make a decent map, it it just takes. I mean, you can't just give up. You know what I mean? And don't ever half-ass it, because people are gonna know if you half-ass the map. They will know. Because they'll just know. They'll know that you didn't take the time to do the same thing on the other side. People will know, man. I'm telling you, if you think people aren't going to know, they're going to know if you half-assed it. I promise you. Okay, so let's drop the gun. We got the gun there. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to add the same amount of bullets to this side. Consumables. One, two. It should be enough. Two... Oh, yeah, that's why I didn't do it like this. All right, this is going to be a pain in the butt. 50, drop. 50, drop. 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 Okay, so we got that so far. Um, I probably could have made this room a little smaller, but oh, well, it's fine. Uh, I kind of don't want to show the roof for whatever reason. It bothers me. <laughs> So, I'm just going to block that off. So, now it's more of enclosed. I don't know. I just I just like it that way. I mean, I could be wrong. All right. I know a lot of people probably aren't going to watch this stream, and it's fine, because I'm just going to turn it into a video anyways. But I just want to show people... I mean, it's so easy to build maps, guys. Like, it, I mean, it's not easy to... Okay, I take that back. It's hard to build the maps, but if you take your time 
and you don't rush through things, it it could possibly be easy. I mean, it could be just don't rush. Don't ever rush. Like really take pride in building the maps. I'm telling you, spending that extra, you know, hour or two to fix up the map, it matters. It really does matter. So, all right, so we have the zombie we have the first part of this map done. Now, you guys got to remember, this is not like, this is just a rough draft of the map, dude. Like, it's not, like, this is not in any way the final cut. HFD, do you remember me? I, uh, uh, no fatal. Yes, I do actually remember you. All right, so, all right, so this is just the beginning. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to spawn. I'm hoping I did all the settings right. So let's do it. Do two teams. Uh, just in case I'm really bad and it takes me forever. We're going to start it, and I'm going to see if the beginning of this map works. Okay. All right. So, I need to turn that spawn off. That one needs to be turned off. I'm a nub. All right. Hopefully, the gun spawns. There it is. I got the ammo for it. We're good. I'm pretty sure I turned this to a, a thousand. Okay. So, rule number one, guys. Change the team of the barriers. Change the team of the barriers. I can't destroy my own barrier if I'm, if I'm on the team. Okay? David, can you tell Red to say sorry to me? Red, say sorry to him immediately. Okay? I can't believe I didn't change the team of the barriers. That's like a nub thing to do. That's totally a nub thing to do. All right, so... Let's make sure so this way like it'll never that'll never happen. So let's do team 3. We'll do them both for team 3 cuz there'll never ever be a team 3. So we'll make them team 3. All right, it should work now. Let's see let's see how this goes. All right, so it's looking like it's running good. It's red. That's a good indicator if it's red up there. Um, the other one's probably not red, so it's fine. Yeah, it's blue. See, it's fine. I can break this. All right, so it's broken. Now, what you would do, you just come out here. It's going to take a while, but it's fine. So meanwhile, while I'm killing the zombie, or if you have two people on your team, you could have one guy killing the zombie and then another guy maybe breaking the barrier oh wow dude how'd you get in here what what oh my god bro he got in here i love this skin by the way i love this skin So, essentially, with more people, guys, with more people, um, obviously, the zombie's going to go down faster with more people. So, um, that's pretty much the first part of this, and it, it's super easy. I'm watching FaZe sway. Well, that's nice, Cheesy. Good for you, buddy. Uh, but, that, yeah, that's the first part. So, this is the first part of my map, guys. Uh I'm going to build it a little bit with you guys. Maybe not every day, but literally I'm going to build this map with who, like whoever's watching. So you get, you're going to be able to interact with me. We already have a Sid. Do you have another name? <laughs> but I'm going to end this stream. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end the stream, guys. I'm just going to end it because I want to make these more of like videos and stuff. I love watching you build your maps, HFD. You're all, no, you don't. I think you're just saying that, okay? So, okay. So, now, let me real quick. So, if you want them to, like, you got to make sure if you don't want them to have the pistols uh, in the next room. Like, let's say this would be the next room here, okay? What you're going to want to do, and this is, like, really useful, you want to put player checkpoints. Bow, 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 bow. And just, I, you can do two rows. You can do two rows. Um, I don't want to really do two rows. But if, when I do the beta testing of this map and they're able to get the guns, 
over these barriers, then uh, I'll have to make two rows. So for now, what I'll do is I'll just go to inventory, um, target team. We'll make sure this one, I think this is team two. Uh, reset inventory on. Team two, visible during games. Turn that off and turn that on, actually. Okay, so there we go. We got off. Team two, off, on. Team two, off, on. Now, whenever you hit this checkpoint now, when you hit this checkpoint, it's going to reset your inventory. So it's going to get rid of the guns. This way, like, you can do different stuff in the next parts of your map. So, like... You, you want the reset inventory, I promise you. Like, you're going to want that if you want to do other things in your map. And you don't want them to take the guns. But, alright, so this is the first part of my map. I'm going to eventually build the whole map. I hope more people come and check this out. Because it's going to be really cool. I'm going to show you guys how to build, like, a really cool map. It's not the easiest map to build. But it's one of the easiest ones. Because it's kind of a death run. And you can just kind of use your imagination and do whatever you want. Uh, a prop hunt they're kind of easy to build too i would say one of the hardest maps to build um honestly one of the harder ones to build would probably be like an escape run because you have to have well thought out like it has to be well thought out for you to do an escape run do you know what i mean like you have to like think of where you want them to be before they're even there do you know what i mean so an escape run is pretty difficult to build sometimes but um, I, I'm going to make like a series of this, of building maps, because I feel like it'll be fun to build with people, to be honest. But, all right, I'm going to, I'm probably going to end the stream. Here, let me show you, hold on a sec, back, I'll go back to hub. I'm going to show you, the helpful one, subscribe, man, thank you so much, my dude. I'm going to show you what the original Death Race uh, looks like. Thank you for subscribing, man. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, so I'm going to show you what the original um, Death Race looks like. All right, so this is the original Death Race I made. It's kind of similar to the one I'm making now. Uh, you got four teams. All right, you got uh, blue, red, green, purple, and I think that's normally yellow. But because of the, the color dim that I have on right now. So, essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make a part two of this map here. So, what you would do is you would come in this map. Um, you run, break the barrier. Originally, uh, there is a zombie here. So, you, gotta, you start in here, actually. You break the barrier, meet up with your teammate. Uh, you kill the zombie come in here now this is cool because if you do not want to break this down you could actually come up here and hit the trigger and that delete it, it like gets rid of that barrier completely like you don't have to hit it or anything not only does it get rid of this barrier but it also gets rid of the barrier at the end so it could give you that advantage and you could win possibly by just getting this trigger just because of the trigger you could probably win so then you go through here I give people uh, impulses not to impulse themselves, but to impulse other people that are trying to uh, trying to cross this little bridge here. It's actually it's it's pretty it's a neat concept. So, but yeah, this is the first one, and I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna build a second one. Hopefully, you guys are around for that. So, I'm gonna end the stream. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'll probably stream later. I don't know yet. We'll see. You guys are amazing. I'm going to end this. I might stream after this one. Depends. I'm going to Discord, though. So if you guys want to come hang out with me in Discord, I'll be in Discord right now. I'm out. Uh, please make sure you watch the next one. I'm probably going to record the next one. The next one's probably going to be a video. So I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Thank you, David. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Red. Thank you, Wolfie. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys later. I'm out.